Okay, so in this video, let's look at some three questions. Let's look at uh, some introduction questions under chemistry. I've picked three questions. Let's go. The diagram below shows the molecules that uh, molecules are arranged in three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Now they're talking about molecules. State the name given to the change of state. Okay, change of state. Uh, labeled A. Now what is A? A. Now for you to know those changes of state, you need to know that this is a solid. Okay, this is liquid. And this is what? Gas. So a change from liquid to gas is called what? Ever evaporation. Evaporation. Okay. Then B. B is a change from liquid to what? To solid, which is a freezing. Or you can say solidification. Describe the movement of molecules in a gas. They're talking about the movement, nothing else. So you need to understand what the question is asking you. Don't bring uh, anything. It's asking how do molecules move in a gas. Molecules in a gas, they move randomly. Okay, They move freely and what? Randomly. So they move freely and randomly. Okay, then C, which of the changes, A, B, C, is endothermic? Now, what do we mean by endothermic? We know that some endo means inside, right? Then thermic <coughs> means what? Heat. So, so, we are talking about a process which in which heat is taken inside. That's what we're talking about. Now, which of these is endothermic? Now, between A, B, and C only. Now, when look at um, let's look. When look at A, A is changing from liquid to gas. For for a liquid to change to gas, some heat must be what applied, and that heat will be absorbed. That means A is what endothermic. Look at B. B is moving from liquid to solid. To move from liquid to solid, heat is not absorbed. Heat is released so that the particles can come together. Same as what? Same as C. So here the answer is what? A. Okay. Explain your answer. This is because. Uh, it absorbs okay it absorbs heat from the water from the environment okay into the system okay that's the answer two two says the table shows some apparatus used in the water in the laboratory there's a separating funnel, there's a lab condenser, there's a pipette, uh, discator, volumetric flask, laboratory, thermometer, evaporation, di uh, sorry, evaporating dish, bus and burner, and what in? And uh, have we finished this side? Okay, here. Yeah. And uh, what? <coughs> and um, a bullet. State the process used for the following. This is just some common knowledge, and I'll just go straight to, to the point. Burning and heating. For burning and heating, use a Bunsen burner. Okay. Use a Bunsen burner. Okay. Preparation of a standard solution. Molar solution. So this is a volumetric flask. Volumetric flask. Obtaining a, di a distrate from a vapor of a liquid. Use a Leibig condenser. Leibig. Condenser. Drying substances or keeping them free from moisture. All right. So use what? An evaporation dish. You need this at some point it works. Then measuring exactly 25.0 cubic centimeter of a solution. This will use a pipette. Okay. Let's go to the, another question. Given below is a list of substances. Aluminium, nitrogen, cement, potassium chloride, bronze, water, methanol, and seawater. Now, which substance is an element? Now, we know that an element is usually a pure substance, okay? And it is a pure substance which cannot be broken uh, down by what physical means or chemical means. Now, 
when look at here here we only have nitrogen and aluminium just nitrogen and the aluminium now you only pick one okay they, they, because they said which substance it's either you write nitrogen or aluminium don't write uh all of them so i'm going to put all here which compound is a single which substance is a single compound okay now when they talk of a single compound it's a compound within uh, it's a uh, it's a compound within itself okay when we'll look at uh, nitrogen nitrogen is represented as this this means it's a compound of the same what element so the answer is nitrogen Which substance is a mixture? Now, I know that a mixture is a combination of the, or two or more substances that are not chemically combined and they show some layers of separation. Hence, they can be separated using physical what? Physical means. Seawater. Is seawater a mixture? True or false? Yes. Even cement itself. Is what is a mixture as well because cement is a mixture of some other stuff. So you can have cement, even see water. Which substance is an element that conducts electricity? Aluminium can conduct electricity. Now, potassium, I know that potassium chloride is an ionic compound. Which can conduct electricity, but there's an assum there's a, an um, excuse for that. It can only conduct electric electricity when it is in molten state. That's why in this case it has been overruled. From the above list, select one ionic compound, so potassium chloride. Potassium chloride is an ionic compound. An alloy, an alloy is bronze. Right, so we've done. Hope you advise. I'll see you in the next video.